Red River, a historical fiction novel by Lolita Tademi published in 2008, draws heavily from the history of her father's family. Tademi's previous work, Cane River, was selected for Oprah's Book Club and also delved into the realm of historical fiction, focusing on her maternal relatives. Spanning nearly half a century, Red River traces the lives of four generations of the Tademi family. At the core of the narrative lies the harrowing Colfax Massacre, an actual event that occurred on Easter Sunday in 1873. The first part of the book revolves around the lead-up to this massacre, which saw over 150 black men mercilessly slain as they valiantly defended the Colfax courthouse against the White League, a precursor to the Ku Klux Klan. The second half of the novel explores the aftermath of the massacre on the black community in and around Colfax, with a particular focus on the Tademi family. Throughout the book, the author artfully incorporates authentic letters, newspapers, and photographs from the era, lending further depth and context to the unfolding events. The plot centers around the Tademi family residing in the bottom, a black community near Colfax, Louisiana. In the initial half, Sam Tademi joins forces with Israel Smith, McCulley, and other black men from the town, united in their effort to defend the courthouse and the newly elected Republican officials. Despite the end of the Civil War and the promises of Reconstruction, concerns linger within the black community that the entrenched white power structure may prevent the duly elected Republicans from assuming office. Lacking the anticipated support from the federal government, they take it upon themselves to safeguard their rights. They successfully hold the courthouse for over three weeks, allowing the Republican sheriff and judge to be sworn in. However, the ever-looming presence of the White League poses a constant threat. Following several weeks of mounting tension, the white men launch an assault on the courthouse, bolstered by reinforcements and weaponry procured from nearby towns. After the devastating Colfax massacre, Sam Tademi assumes the responsibility of leading the black women and children to safety, guiding them to the protection of the nearby swamp. Thanks to his bravery, Sam becomes one of the few survivors of the massacre. Meanwhile, the white men overpower the black defenders, utilizing their cannon to devastating effect. Witnessing the courthouse engulfed in flames, the black men attempt to surrender but are met with a hail of gunfire. More than 100 black men lose their lives, and around 50, including Israel Smith, are captured and held prisoner. In the following night, despite the white sheriff's prohibition against harming the captives, a group of intoxicated white men sadistically executes and tortures them. Miraculously, Israel survives, though he sustains multiple gunshot wounds and loses an eye. The Colfax massacre shatters the black community, extinguishing their hope for reconstruction. Although some white individuals are arrested and charged in connection with the atrocity, none are convicted, and history books refer to the event as the Colfax riot. Sam, one of the few survivors, becomes deeply committed to forging a brighter future for Colfax's black community. His aspiration revolves around establishing a school to educate both his own children and the children of the community. While he cannot witness his dream come to fruition, his son, Jackson, carries it forward. Jackson builds a black school in the bottom, but it falls victim to an arson attack perpetrated by the White League. Undeterred, Jackson rebuilds the school, expanding it to include a high school. Noby Smith, Israel's son, wholeheartedly supports Jackson in this noble undertaking. Sam and later Jackson diligently pass down the truth about the Colfax massacre to their sons, ensuring that the black community's history remains intact. They also instill in their sons and grandsons a deep sense of pride in the Tademi name, emphasizing the importance of preserving their identity. Nathan Green, Jackson's son, follows in his father's footsteps, becoming a teacher at the school. However, he lacks the same determination and boldness as his father and grandfather. He marries the daughter of Nobi, cementing the union between the two families through blood ties. Carrying the torch of hope and the legacy of the Colfax massacre, Ted Tademi steps forward as the next guardian of his community's aspirations. As the father of author Lolita Tademi, Ted assumes the crucial role of preserving and passing down the true history of the devastating event. With a deep sense of responsibility, Ted ensures that the sacrifices and struggles of the past are not forgotten and that the story of resilience and strength endures for future generations. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.